What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coke Got It, coming at y'all with another video. In this video, we're going to get into my week one predictions. Hit that like, subscribe button. That way you don't want to miss any of my content when it drops. And let's ride. Starting off tonight, we got West Virginia and Pitt, backyard brawl. West Virginia, JT Daniels, the starter. Big surprise. Pitt, they got Keaton Slovis. Should turn out to be a good matchup. Pitt's giving up seven and a half points. I'm taking Pitt hit up, and I think that I'd even take them with the points. You know, I think it's going to be a close game. I don't know if it's going to be no three score game. I mean, three three point game or you know anything like that. I think a nice little touchdown, maybe touchdown and a field goal, somewhere around there. Good game, regardless of if it's a 10, 14 point win. I got Pitt winning in a close one. Then we got Penn State and Purdue tonight also. We got Penn State giving Purdue three and a half points. And I'm going to take Penn State hit up. And I'm going to take Penn State giving up the points. I don't think that's enough for Purdue to uh, cover the spread. Then we got Boston College and Rutgers. Boston College is giving up seven. I'm going to take Boston College hit up. And I'm gonna take them giving up the seven points. It's Rutgers, you know. I don't. I'm not big on Boston College this year at all. But I mean, it's Rutgers. Let's be serious here. It's not like Rutgers has ever done anything to really make you think twice about going against them. Then we got North Carolina and App State. That's a toss-up game. No spread on that. I'm taking North Carolina. I've heard a lot of people talk about App State. And I think it'd be a good game, but I'm going to take North Carolina to get the win. Then we got Cincinnati and Arkansas. Arkansas giving up seven points to Cincinnati. I'm taking Arkansas, and I'm giving up the points. Cincinnati's lost a lot, and I don't think they're going to be asked, but I doubt they're going to just bounce back after everything they've lost and uh, just pick up where they left off. They're, they're not that kind of school. They don't recruit on that kind of level. Then we got Oregon and Georgia. Georgia giving up 16 and a half points. I'm gonna take Georgia, head up, of course. That's pretty fucking easy. Now giving up 16 and a half points, that's tight. But Bo Nix, you know, even though Dan Lanning hasn't announced a starter, I'm pretty sure everyone uh, feels the same way that Bo Nix is gonna be the starter. I'm taking Georgia, giving up the points. Then we got Utah and Florida. Utah's giving Florida three points, and Florida's at the house. I'm taking Florida head up, so I'm definitely taking Florida with the three points. I don't think Utah's going into the swamp and walking out with a W. Then we got Notre Dame and Ohio State. Ohio State giving up 17. I'm taking Ohio State head up. 17 points. That's a lot of points against the Notre Dame team. I think Notre Dame's going to have a pretty solid defense. I don't think they got enough offense to keep up with Ohio State, but I don't know if Ohio State will cover 17. So on this, I'll take Notre Dame with the points. Then we got Louisville against Syracuse. Louisville's giving Syracuse four and a half. I'm taking Louisville head up, and I'm taking Louisville giving up the points. And then we got Florida State against LSU. LSU's giving up three. I'm taking LSU head up, and I'm taking LSU giving up three points. That's, I think that's solid predictions. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll have the results once they're all out. It's your boy, Coke Gotti, and I'm out.